Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. My name is Freya and my name is Charlie and today we're back with another recipe. It's a proper tasty masala spiced vegan mac and cheese. What we've done is taken two of our favourite meals, curry and pasta, combined them together and made what we think is the ultimate comfort food. So you might be asking yourself, do these things really go together properly? It sounds a bit weird. We promise you it's not. It is well nice. If you think about Indian food, you've got cheesy flavours like paneer and then also really creamy curries as well. Things with coconut milk and all that sort of stuff in it. So these cheesy, creamy flavours are there in Indian cuisine. And then on the other side, if you think about American foods, spicy cheese is all over the place. You've got cheeseburgers with spice, you've got mac and cheese with jalapenos, jalapenos and all sorts of spices. Sauce. It is a combination that we are convinced is dreamy. And we are convinced you're going to love it. So we've added lots of delicious Indian spices into our cheesy sauce like cumin, garam masala and a few other things. Mm -hmm. This sauce is not going to blow your head off, it's not super spicy. If you do like really spicy food then you can just of course add in a bit more chilli powder, just up that ante if that is your cup of tea. Make it the way that you want it with the spice. Exactly. We've also got loads of delicious toppings, so we've got some crunchy Bombay mix, we've got some mango chutney and we've got some fresh coriander as well. The bomb Bombay mix is a game changer in this recipe and in all other curries that we make we love to have Bombay mix on the top. It's just a lovely, crunchy, spicy niceness. It's all about that texture contrast, that's what we want. We love mac and cheese, we love vegan mac and cheese and there are so many different ways to make a vegan version of mac and cheese. And we're going to share with you a couple of our other favourite ways of making a vegan cheese sauce later in this video. If you like the sound of this recipe then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you don't want to miss out on any more of the content we've got coming up. We've got loads more lovely recipes planned for you, as well as product reviews, vlogs, all that goodness. Subscribe. Wicked. Let's get cooking. We're going to start by grating some vegan cheddar style cheese. We're using this cheese from Ilchester that has a strong cheesy flavour and melts really well. We also love the Violife Epic Mature Cheddar Block, but basically you can use any vegan cheese that melts relatively well. Now we're going to make the spice mix that turns this mac and cheese from a regular one to a mega masala spiced mac and cheese. Add together the mustard powder, garlic granules and the turmeric which gives this a beautiful golden yellow colour. We're also adding in the ground cumin and of course we need our key ingredient garam masala. Then finally for the heat a little bit of chilli powder. Grab a saucepan, turn on the heat and whack in the dairy free butter. You're going to want this to melt down really nice before adding in the flour. We're basically making a roux here, so whisk them together and then add in the milk. We've used almond, but you can use oat as well if you'd prefer. Keep whisking and don't stop whisking until it starts to thicken up. This usually takes a couple of minutes. Then add in all of that lovely vegan cheese we grated earlier. A bit more whisking until the cheese has fully melted. Ooh, look at that. This is your basic mac and cheese recipe. To take this to the next level, we're going to add in all those tasty spices. Final bit of whisking, I promise. And then we're going to add in salt and pepper to taste. Take it off the heat and pop a lid on and keep that warm to one side. Let's move on to cooking the macaroni. Just do what you do and cook the pasta, make as much as you need, this sauce serves four. Bring back your lovely masala cheesy goodness, then tip the drained mac into the cheese sauce. Stir it around until it's all thoroughly coated and you're ready to serve up. The toppings are what's going to make this dish even more special. Start by sprinkling on the Bombay mix, we're quite generous with ours. Next is your mango chutney. And then finally, for an extra kick of heat, a few chilli flakes if you want. Finally, finally, add in the fresh coriander and you're done! This is our vegan masala spiced mac and cheese and we are going to dig in. I can't wait. 
Now I go for it. Mm. Mm. I'm into that. I need a little bit more bombay mix on my side. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, this is so good. It's not too spicy. It's the perfect level of spice. Like, it is just a lovely aromatic spice rather mm. than heat. And you can taste all of that lovely Indian spice coming through. It's mm. really good. And that Bombay mix on the top, it's like when you do um, an oven baked mac and cheese, like mm. the like, crispy broken topping. It's kind of like that but with the Bombay mix. It has that lovely crispy texture. So delicious. Wait, this is over in there. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna go get my portion. Earlier on in the video, we talked about how there are loads of different ways to make a vegan mac and cheese. So as you just saw, we made this with a traditional roux and then some shop bought vegan cheese. But one of our other favorite ways of making mac and cheese is with a bit of an unexpected ingredient, we like to use a butternut squash. So what we do is we roast it in the oven and then it gets blended up with loads of other lovely, delicious ingredients and it creates a really creamy sauce. Mm. If you like the sound of this recipe, then you can click the link in the description box which will take you to our alternative mac and cheese recipe. Thank you so much for watching all the way through this video. We really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Hit the like, leave us a little comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Bye.